Soldier of the Black Legion, you see before you an instrument of death. We give you this half as a symbol of our trust. The other half you will the day you betray that trust. trust. Taylor tells Jackson about his secret life with the violent Black Legion. Afraid that a slip of the tongue might prompt Jackson to go to the police, Taylor tells the Black Legion leadership what happened. The leadership orders Taylor to capture and execute Jackson. Unlike the Black Legion's other victims, Jackson is unafraid and threatens to go to the police. When Jackson tries to escape, Taylor panics and shoots him. Taylor is arrested for Jackson's murder. Ruth returns for Taylor's trial to support him. The lawyer for the Black Legion threatens Taylor's wife and son to stop him from implicating the hate organization, but filled with self-loathing, Taylor tells the truth in court. All of the members of the Black Legion are sentenced to life in prison for Jackson's murder. Black Legion went into production in late August, 1936. Many of the details about the Legion portrayed in the film, such as the initiation oath and the confessions in the trial scenes, were based on known facts about the historic organization. Because United States libel laws had recently been broadened in scope by court rulings, Warner Brothers underplayed some aspects of the group's political activities to avoid legal repercussion. The Ku Klux Klan sued Warner Brothers for patent infringement for the film's use of a patented Klan insignia, Legion at IMDb. Related articles, Storm Warning, 1950 film, 1951 film by Stuart Heisler, The Time, The Place and the Girl, 19... We have a fight that's common to all of us against the enemy who is common to all of us. The political philosophy of black nationalism only means that the black man should control the politics and the politicians in his own community. The, the, time, the time when white people can come in our community and get us to vote for them so that they can be our political leaders and tell us what to do and what not to do is long gone. Oh, By the same token, the time when that same white man, knowing that your eyes are too far open, can send another Negro into the community, and get you and me to support him so he can use him to lead us astray, those days are long gone. <laughs> the political philosophy of black nationalism only means that if you and I are going to live in a black community, and that's where we're going to live, because as soon as you move into one of their, as soon as you move out of the black community into their community, it's mixed for a period of time, but they are gone, and you're right there all by yourself. We must, we must understand the politics of our community, and we must know what politics is supposed to produce. We must know what part politics play in our lives. And until we become politically mature, we will always be misled, led astray, or deceived or maneuvered into uh, supporting someone politically who doesn't have the good of our at heart. So the political philosophy of black nationalism only means that we will have to carry on a program, a political program of re-education to open our people's eyes, make us become more politically conscious, politically mature, and then we will, whenever we get ready to cast our ballot, that ballot will be, classed for, uh, will be cast for a man of the community who has the good of the community at heart. And I have a dream.